welcome to the Recording Studio Masterclass Vlog. Um, and, and I'm just following up um, the uh, mixing rock music session that uh, some of you uh, made it to. Um, so uh, the people who were there were not 100% sure, some of them were not 100% sure about trim automation and how that's used. Um, so I thought I would, for the benefit of those who couldn't make it, and also just to clarify a few points for those who were there, I thought I would um, give you a sort of a heads up on how trim automation works. So uh, I'm in Pro Tools, I'm, I have got a multi-track and I've stripped out uh, everything except the drums. And I'm just going to play a little bit of the drums back. Um, the aim of this uh, sort of project is to automate the uh, overheads and the room mics. So you'll see there'll be, um, or you'll hear, there'll be a, um, change from a verse section to a chorus section. I've labelled it rock out. So it's at this point that I want to push the overhead, push the room mics, um, just to give it a more sort of um, raw sound, more energetic. So if you look at the automation for the volume, we see that it's actually a static mix at the moment, so there's no uh, fader movements at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn on the overhead and drum room groups. Here the overhead there, and the drum room. So we want to push these a little bit at that changeover point. Okay, so I'm going to go into latch mode on the automation option and trim mode on top of that. And as you can see, we go into a kind of a gold um, button and we get a, uh, a, a yellowy gold track. Now this represents additional trim on top of the uh, standard volume curves. There we go, we've got fader automation. Now you'll notice, if you do this yourself, that um, on the mixer window, the faders change colour to a gold colour and will revert to unity. Which is great because it gives you more um, inches per decibel, so you can automate even low, vol low volume. Um, with precision. So there's a, a few different options for trim automation which you can find in uh, the preferences w uh, dialog and mixing tab. So we're on on leaving trim mode. So when I go back here and I click on the automation button and leave trim mode you will see that the um, trim automation is coalesced and drops into volume automation. So you now you can see the volume of the faders being with. You can also see here the uh, gold faders which are still in trim mode and they're at unity gain, even though the volume of that track is not unity gain. So we're going to look at on um, after each pass option. And in this case, I'm going to ride the drum room mics just add a little bit of excitement and I push with each bar. And a bit more. So now when I press stop, this automation data will be transferred from the trim automation through to volume. There we go, instantly transferred. So now we can come out of trim mode and turn off automation latch. Put everything back to read. So we'll see this automation. You can see that the drum room mics are not at unity gain like they were in trim mode, but it's been superimposed on top of volume. So that's uh, trim automation. Um, the final option is the manually coalesce automation. Um, and that's available in the 
track drop down menu. It's grayed out at the moment, but it won't be when there's some trim automation available. So yeah, go away, have a play. Um, and you'll find similar um, options on Logic, Cubase, Sonar, etc. Mm -hmm.